Brought to you by wikivd.com. James Woods James Howard Woods is an American actor and producer. He is often known for villainous roles, and appeared in a variety of films, including The Way We Were, The Onion Field, Videodrome, Once Upon a Time in America, Bestseller, Chaplin, Casino, Nixon, Vampires, Straw Dogs, and White House Down. On television, he is known for portraying the titular protagonist of Shark. Woods has been nominated for two Academy Awards, first in the Best Actor category for Salvador, and again in the Best Supporting Actor category for Ghosts of Mississippi. He is also the recipient of three Emmy Awards for the television movies Promise, and My Name is Bill W. and the animated series Hercules. Promise additionally brought him a Golden Globe Award. He has lent his distinctive voice to animated characters in The Simpsons and Family Guy, in which he played fictional versions of himself, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas as Mike Torreno, and in films such as Disney's Hercules as Hades and Stuart Little II as Falcon. Early Life Woods was born in Vernal, Utah, and had a brother ten years younger than he. His father, Gail Payton Woods, was an Army intelligence officer who died in 1960 after routine surgery. His mother, Martha A., operated a preschool after her husband's death and later married Thomas E. Dixon. Woods grew up in Warwick, Rhode Island, where he attended Pilgrim High School, from which he graduated in 1965. He is of part Irish descent and was raised Catholic, briefly serving as an altar boy. Woods ultimately chose to pursue his undergraduate studies at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he majored in political science. While at MIT, Woods pledged to Theta Delta Chi fraternity. He was also an active member of the student theater group Drama Shop, where he both acted in and directed a number of plays. To pursue a career in acting, he dropped out of MIT in 1969 before his graduation. Woods has said that he became an actor thanks to Tim Affleck, who was a stage manager at the Theatre Company of Boston while Woods was a student there. Theatre Woods appeared in 36 plays before making his Broadway debut in 1970 at the Lyceum Theatre in the first U.S. production of Frank McMahon's Borstal Boy. He got the part by pretending he was British. He returned to Broadway the following year to portray David Darst in Daniel Berrigan's The Trial of the Cantonsville Nine. In 1971, he played Bob Retty in the American premiere of Michael Weller's Moon Children. At the Arena Stage in Washington, D.C., the production moved to Broadway the following year, and Woods won a Theatre World Award for his performance. He returned to Broadway in 1973 to portray Stephen Cooper in the original production of Gene Kerr's Finishing Touches. Film and Television A prominent Hollywood character actor, Woods has appeared in over 130 films and television series, beginning with his first television appearance all the way home in 1971, and his film debut The Visitors in 1972. He is known for his dark, intense characters, and villains. Early examples include his portrayals of a sadistic murderer in 1979's The Onion Field, and of serial killer Carl Panzram in 1994's Killer, A Journal of Murder. He appeared in an episode of The Rockford Files, playing a son whose parents were murdered. He was first recognized by the Oscars when he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor for the Oliver Stone drama Salvador, portraying real-life journalist Rick Boyle as he chronicles events in El Salvador. He was recognized again with a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor Ghosts of Mississippi, in which he portrayed another real-life figure, infamous white supremacist Byron de la Beckwith. One of his favorite film roles is Max, the domineering gangster, in Sergio Leone's epic Once Upon a Time in America. In 1995, Woods took the role of pimp Lester Diamond in Martin Scorsese's Casino. That same year, he portrayed H.R. Haldeman in Nixon, the biopic of Richard M. Nixon, directed by Oliver Stone. In one of his most prominent television roles, Woods starred in the CBS legal drama series Shark. 
which ran for two seasons between 2006 and 2008. He played an infamous defense lawyer who, after growing disillusioned when his client commits a murder, becomes a successful prosecutor. With the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office, Woods was offered a leading role in the low-budget film Reservoir Dogs, but his agent rejected the script without showing it to the actor. When Woods learned of this some time later, he fired his agents, replacing them with ICM. In 2006, Woods starred in Endgame. He makes a cameo appearance as himself in the first episode of the third season of Entourage. In 2011, Woods appeared as Richard S. Fuld, Jr. Chairman and CEO of Lehman Brothers, in H-Boss Too Big to Fail, for which he gained an Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or Movie. Voice Work Woods has lent his voice talents to many animated television shows and feature films. He garnered critical praise for his voice work as Hades in the 1997 Disney film Hercules, and he won a Daytime Emmy Award in 2000 for the role in the follow-up television series. He also voiced Villian Benedict, the twisted former headmaster who attempts to abolish summer vacation in the 2001 film Recess, School's Out. He also appeared as a fictional version of himself in the episode of The Simpsons entitled Homer and Apu and in seven episodes of Family Guy, which is set in Wood's home state of Rhode Island. Other references in Family Guy include the local high school, James Wood's High School, and a forest named James Woods mentioned in the episode, The Fat Guy Strangler. In 2004, Woods voiced Jalik in the animated film Mark and Mike Torreno in Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Personal Life During a press interview for Kingdom Hearts 2, Woods noted that he is an avid video game player. He is a dealer of antiques in Rhode Island. On December 14, 2015, while Woods was driving alone westbound through an ice storm on Interstate 70 in Glenwood Canyon, Colorado, a driver who was speeding lost control and crashed into five other cars. Woods swerved his Jeep Grand Cherokee to avoid the accident and collided with a retaining wall, but slid backwards into a guardrail above the Colorado River. Woods suffered a minor concussion from the accident. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.